Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los. And we are in the city of Molson tier. Off camera, I sold all the traps that I recovered. And then we put on the bus. Because I'm expecting to engage in combat a little bit later. So let's go down here. This seems to be an area that we can venture into. Besides the Vale Theater. Okay, does this guy have anything? No? Alright, let's go explore these docks over here. It looks like we got a fairy master. And he doesn't have anything. Another month or so, and this river will be solid ice. And I'll be guzzling... Juild? At the sloop? J-H-U-I-L-D. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. You look unwell, stranger. A hollowness in your cheeks, perhaps. And you can't even steal anything from him. Yeah, that would be... this thing that's living inside me that we... aren't really sure what it is. Some sort of parasite. This guy doesn't have anything either. This is the finest boat in all Molson tier. Built with the help of my daughter's witch magic. Well, I guess in a place like this you can advertise that. Oh, we got a barrel over here. Let's check it out. Alright, so we got two thieves tools plus three. It might come in handy. You never know. Alright, now let's go in here. This is the sloop. It's what passes for an inn and a tavern around here. So let's zoom in here. This is the bouncer. Looks like a half-orc woman. Zora, don't make trouble or else. Define trouble. Don't break anything and don't get into any fights or else. Or else what? Or else you'll pay. Okay, how are you gonna make us pay? Gonna extract it in blood through my nose? Alright, so this is the proprietor. Can I help you? His name is Vladik. A newcomer, welcome to the sloop. I'm Vladik, the proprietor of this proud establishment. Proud? This place is a dump. Well, one man's dump is another man's pile of dung. <laughs> and a uh, pile of dung is better than a dump. Oh yes, my rude patron. Now listen and learn. Dung is produced by every living creature. And all of them, every last one, hates their dung. Go on. They hate it. As soon as they make it, they try to bury it, flush it into the lake, fling it at passersby, or even just get away from it. So that others accidentally step in it. Okay, yes, nobody likes dung, so... Well, a wise farmer or a businessman like me knows full well the value of dung. Simply put, you can enjoy great success if you are able to take something that people don't want and turn it into something they do want, like this place. Okay, tell me about your inn. Gladly. I acquired the sloop a few years ago with my wife Zora. When we took it over... It was an unprofitable, glorified museum of some sort. Oh, so that bouncer is your wife? I turned the sloop into an inn, a fabulous place where the common man or woman can come to relax, enjoy, and be entertained. And here we have none of that elitist high drama nonsense like you find at the Veil vale Theater. We cater to the masses, and I have great pride that my inn will succeed. Well, it sounds like you dislike the Veil vale Theater. It's not that I dislike the Vale. Magda is a fine lady dwarf who could even drink my wife Zora under the table. The problem is, they are stuck in the past. Hmm. You see, the people, by and large, no longer want to see grand epic stories filled with big words they can barely comprehend. And that is all the Vale does. So, there is a need here, unfilled, and Philatic hears that need, and is acting to fill it. That is why I'm forming a new theater. 
right here in the sloop called the Sloop Troop. The Sloop Troop? Seriously? Catchy name, isn't it? Yes, the Sloop Troop. They will put on plays that will appeal to the common man. Light-hearted plays of comedy and farce. Currently, we are working on The Fat Wizard's Wench, which is to be a parody of The Veil's next ghastly epic drama. Okay, tell me again about your theory of dung. Oh, you know what? Never mind, I'm leaving. Ah, oh, but you didn't let me finish. Come back if you wish to hear more of Vladek's theory of dung. No, thank you. So, yes. in here, you can interact with all these chairs and tables, Step with me. Come on. and they're very, oh, oh, very oh. easy to break. So if you get in a fight and you break them, you will be held accountable, as you can see. And over here, looks like we got a group of five pirates. So, if you do sleight of hand on these guys, you can actually steal gold from them. I wonder how much gold we can get from them. Alright, let's just keep trying to get some. You know what? If there is a lot of gold on these guys, I might have to edit out me stealing it all because I do want to get every last bit of gold that I can. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to be going down. Hmm. Yeah, it's like we just keep stealing gold. Okay, what about this guy over here? Yeah, same thing. Hmm. Yeah, this is the fragile furniture. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking that this might take a while to steal all the gold that these guys have. Very well. Well, these guys are pirates after all, so I guess it would make sense that after having gone robbing ships that they would have a lot of gold on them. And then come to the tavern and buy a bunch of liquor with the money they stole. Man, these guys really do have a yes. lot of money. Let's see, Kaji. Since you can pick locks and disable traps, can you do sleight of hand? You don't have any ranks in it. What if we put it there? Can we... No, you cannot use that skill. Step with oh, me. man. Come on. Follow along. Okay, well, the point is, these guys have a lot of money. And it looks like all of them have a lot of money on them. From the looks of it, yeah. Looks like we got one more to verify. Yeah, okay, all of these guys have a lot of money that you could steal. These have been the first people that we've been able to steal stuff from. Okay, this guy is kind of challenging, according to that description. What about these guys over here? Do these guys have anything? Clive the Dandy and Two Penny Tan. Or two penny tarn, I should say. Hick. Greetings and well met. Tis nearly time for our play. Just as soon as I finish this drink, and maybe another after that. Yeah, that might compromise your acting ability, buddy. Okay, so if you talk to these guys, I'm not going to talk to them right now. If you talk to them, they will attack you. And there's no way around it. There's, like, no way of talking your way out of being attacked. Now, I think if you don't have Sophia in your party, then they'll just ignore you. But if you do, then they will definitely attack you. So if you go over here, there's a bunch of locked doors. And if you don't have the open lock skill, you can use Kaji to open them. Or you could just use Knock. And in here, you get... 
a bunch of gold and a bunch of armors that are in the wardrobe. Now, this is the suite right here. So this is the nice room. The other rooms are not very good, to say the least. Now, there is a trap right here. So let's examine it. Oh, we got 105 XP for just unlocking the door. Okay, so the DC was 26 for just examining. So it could be a little difficult to recover, so we're just going to disable it. And we did, and we didn't get any XP for that, though. Well, that sucks. Oh, we got 120 XP for unlocking that chest. And we get the crossbow of murder, that looks familiar. A poison bolt and paralytic bolt. And we got a trapped armoire over here. The DC is 18, so we probably will have a good chance to recover it, so let's try. And we got it, and this time we got 125 XP. We got a potion of heal, actually two of them. And the Axe of the Culling, a great axe. Now, we're going to want to come back to this room later. So, we'll just keep this in mind. This is the nice room. It was trapped. It had probably the best items that you could find in here. So, we got four other rooms besides the ones that we were in before. That you can break into and steal stuff. And here's some more armor. It's kind of useless. We will probably, in fact, we will definitely sell it. As soon as we can. Here's another craptastic room with another shoddy armoire, and we get a bunch of gold. Of course, you're going to need lots of gold because everything is really expensive at the shops. Oh, looks like we're getting 72 XP for just unlocking these doors. That's pretty good. And here's the last room that you can break into. Get 72 XP for that, and we got one more armoire. And we got another Thieves Tools plus three, and a deadly gas trap that we can sell. Alright, so let's go back over here, and I'm gonna steal all the gold until there's nothing left, and that's gonna take a while, so I guess we'll just meet you back here in a few minutes. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are a pirate indeed. Being a pirate is a wretched thing. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Okay, that took a really, really long time, but I got over 10,000 gold. And you would be happy that I spared you from having to watch all of that. Okay, so now that we've stolen everything we can. Let's talk to these guys. They're not very friendly at all, well, they're pirates, of course. But if you talk to the ones who are actually named, my mind must be playing tricks. Am I so drunk that I invited a foreign dog to join us? Fildren, the girl, she has a thin look about her. Captain, we should take our leave. These men are pirates and thugs. Nothing more. By the three, she is they in red ropes or no. Have her kind grown so brazen that they send their tattooed wenches to share my ale? Oh. And now you know why they will attack us. They really don't like Thayans. So we're going to bluff. She has forsaken her people and allied herself with the witches. She is a spy on your behalf. And in return... You're gonna kill her? Failure. No, foreigner. I spent years of plenty with dead whips at my back, and I know their filthy runes. That girl's a red wizard, a scholar. If the subtle twist of her markings speak true, her kind would never come and go as they please, and they'd only arouse suspicion if they did. A poor choice for a spy, and a mistake that our masked sisters wouldn't make. No, foreigner. Her scalp will hang from my ship's sail with the next dawn, and your corpse will feed the krakens of the lake. Okay, so these guys are kind of hard, so that's why we put the buffs on 
earlier so we can have some boost to AC and absorb some damage with the stone skin. Looks like the captain already got a critical hit, so let's summon the Orglash to help. Is that your taste? And they will go into Barbarian Rages to give themselves a bunch of stat boosts. So let's try to do Mass Hold Monster, see if that'll paralyze some of them. Sophia already cast Bigby's Clenched Fist, so she's grappled one of them. Let's see if it'll work on more. No, it looks like it didn't work. I think that only worked. Oh, yeah, it did work on one of them. And it looks like she cast it Disintegrate, so let's just keep attacking these guys. Any others? Yeah, let's do a Mordenkainen sword. And she's casting Greater Invisibility. And someone's shooting Kaji. Yeah, you might as well make yourself useful with the Burning Hands. So these guys are doing some damage to the captain, but I think we'll be okay. Sounds like someone got killed already. There goes another one. Alright, looks like we got one left. Well, so much for the pirates. I wonder if they leave all the gold that we stole if we didn't steal it. And they do happen to leave the Deep Guardian's plate. Alright, so let's have a look. And I put everything into the magic bag that I wasn't going to use right away. So this thing gives you immunity to paralysis. It's adamantine, gives you spell resistance. We'll put that in the magic bag as well. And the Axe of the Culling is a great axe, of course. It does 1d6 fire damage, it's plus 3, and does dispel magic, and the DC is 14. And I did give the Emiskari Rod to Sophia, just in case we encounter anyone who's going to cast buffs on themselves. That'll take the buffs right off. Alright, so let's get out of here. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You're going to pay for what you did. Um, but I made sure not to break anything. You're gonna fight me then? Not if I don't have to. I'm civilized, unlike some people. I said you're gonna pay, so here's the damages you've done. There's an extra charge for fighting in here, whether you break anything or not. Oh, great. For real? So, for that, you're gonna pay 500 gold. So we got a bunch of choices we could do, and let's try diplomacy. I was not aware of the rules of this fine establishment. I promise to be more respectful in the future. Success. Oh, all right. I'll just let you off with a warning this time. Just don't do it again, or you'll pay. All right, so we're free to go. There's nothing more to do in here. All right, so I guess our next stop will be the Vale Theater. So let's work our way over there. And we did use up some spells, so we are going to have to rest, and that way we will have access to the Orglash again. And we'll put the buffs back on. A couple of the buffs that I put on earlier had worn off by all the time that I spent robbing those guys. But we weren't too worse for the wear. Alright, so what are we going to find in the Veil Theater? Find out next time. This is Big Los signing off. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and Tango Un Buen Dia.